Welcome back to my channel. I'm Papa Rossi, and today I'm going to be teaching you five things you might not have known about Dinkum. First thing is apples. If you've ever looked at the description of apples in your menu, you will see that it says to bury. And if you ever try burying an apple, you ended up just eating the apple. So I'm going to show you how to actually bury things that say bury on them. What you do is you pick up the ground with a shovel, drop your item down by clicking in the analog stick, and then taking your shovel and placing the dirt back into it. That will grow your seed. Also works with certain plants, like these right here. And there you have it. You have a palm tree. Some seeds, however, can be put directly into the ground and you don't need to make a hole. Some things cannot be put into the ground, such as cactus figs, even if you were to dig a hole. All you end up doing is burying it and hiding it. So just go around and test things out if it says it's a seed or if it says a berry go ahead and just dig a hole and put it into the hole if you can't directly throw it into the ground the next thing i want to teach you is if you're making a farm and you're trying to make it look pretty and you accidentally go too far over to get rid of the tile just dig it up next thing are large rocks so early in the game you're going to realize that you need a lot of copper ore and if you can't find these particular rocks which are few and far between in the beginning stages of the game you can look for these giant rocks there's a good chance that they're going to be copper sometimes they can be other things but there's a good chance that they're going to be copper also if you find these little shiny stones and you happen to have one of these grinders you can throw the shiny stone into the grinder and just wait now this will produce three different ores like a tin ore or iron ore and even an opal or some rare things that can drop out of that so if you get some shiny stone don't sell the shiny stone put them into your grinder and you get three different ores or a rare opal the next thing i want to show you is the machine book the machine book can be purchased from john's goods and it's usually right here but sometimes it's a wheelbarrow so you might find a wheelbarrow you might find a machine book as far as i know those are the only two things that are in this location and what you can do is you can take this machine book and take a machine such as the stone grinder or the furnace or even the keg and this only works outside for some reason so go ahead and place them down on the ground take your machine manual and then hold it over the item and it tells you what can go inside of the item goes for this as well here's a bonus one before we get to the sixth and final thing this is an honorable mention it goes along with the machine book but it's called the plant book you can get this book from rain inside of the greenhouse eventually when you get a good relationship with her she will give you the plant book so the way you use the plant book is much like the machine manual all you do is hover it over a plant and it tells you it matures in five days it matures in 12 days and it can also be used for crops as you see here i have carrot seeds and it tells me when it matures and also have pumpkin seeds which it doesn't identify but these are pumpkin seeds it tells me when they mature so if you're ever wondering how long it takes for plants to mature just open up the plant book it doesn't tell you what season they grow in so if you want to know that just talk to rain whenever she sells the seeds and she'll give you a breakdown of each of the seeds what seasons they grow in and all that stuff and just write it down in a notebook or something because there's as far as i know there's no place where it's documented last but certainly not least i want to show you a trick that i've mentioned in the previous video but what you can do is flash enemies with your light and it will stun them as far as i know this only works in the mines it doesn't work on the top but once you stun them it gives you an opportunity to well on them with your weapon you get about three or four times before they come to and start fighting you back but it's a good strategy for fighting enemies and they, they become immune to it after the first time but what I usually do is hit them one good time, stun them, and then just well on them until they die. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.